Hey everyone, Dogmatic71 here, and welcome to Dogmatic DIY. Today, I'm going to make this kind of decorative shelf here. Make it kind of look rustic farmhousey with beat up wood and two different types of stain with some shelves or some plants. I'm going to do actually two of them, one on each side of the window, but I'll just show you how to build one and then you can go from there. So let's get started. Okay, to get started, what you're gonna need is one, one by six, six footer, and one, one by four, six footer. So, we're going to cut them all at 18 inches. I haven't glued these in. Uh, as you can see, they're just kind of randomly placed. Pl placed? <laughs> That's a good word. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to kind of play around to see what I, I like here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use three of the 1x4s and three of the 1x6s. 18 inches each and then what I did <clears throat> is because this pine that I get it's all beat up so I got some pine here watch uh, if you can see the edges here let's see if I can find the edges figures this one okay so I don't know if you can see that but yeah you can always sand it down and stuff like that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a quarter inch off each one. So these will become five because right now they're five and a half. And then I'll even need, knock a quarter inch off of these too because they're beat up as well. Of the edges. It's uh, pretty bad right now. You know, the, the cost of wood in Canada uh, is ridiculous. Like I went and, and looked for a one by six six foot piece if i wanted maple it was like 70 dollars it was like un unbelievable so <clears throat> not gonna do any specialty wood projects until uh the lumber prices come down or i can uh find somebody that cuts it themselves and it's uh like a rough cut lumber and then i can we'll get it all mill and done itself and you know sand down and and planed and whatnot um to the size that's uh, a little bit pricey for a, for a hobby <laughs> you know if if i had orders coming in let's say i was selling some stuff and I had orders coming in that'd be different but <clears throat> for most of the stuff that i make uh like little signs and stuff like that i've been just using fence boards and and those are still I wouldn't say they're cheap uh, compared to what they used to be, but they're cheap, cheaper. Uh, like the one by four, six footer is ten dollars here. So and then the one by six is fifteen dollars. So <clears throat> it's not, it's not. That's not terrible, but I'm still. It's like you know for four pieces about two of these and two of these and you know it's uh after taxes you're 56 dollars uh a little crazy with the uh, prices of wood so uh no specialty wood project for a little while uh it's not worth the money so i'm just going to use the pine but yeah so even even with using this pine it, they're beat up you know, I'm, you know, going through stacks, the stack of, of, of the pine uh, to find which ones beat up the least, right? So to get rid of the rough edges instead of just sanding everything down until it's perfectly straight, since I got to glue them together, I'm going to cut a quarter inch off of each side uh, off the table saw and then should be hopefully f fairly flat. Now it's going to be rustic looking anyway so it doesn't have to be perfect but uh i'd rather it be least uh 
fairly flat each side but yeah so what I did here is you'll get four four pieces cut of each one at 18 inches now the last one will be a little bit less than 18 inches because the widths of the saw blades on each cut will bring it down so you don't really need you'll have an extra one by four when you're done um, but when you get the last one by one by six it'll be like this one was 17 and three quarters right so just cut it in half and then what you have is you know your your shelves for when you're done right you know so I'll, I'll, I'll kind of randomly place one high one low uh, on there later on and I got I didn't want fancy brackets um, I just wanted kind of some low profile kind of hidden brackets that I, I wouldn't say hidden but I didn't want them to stand out and pop when your eyes look at the, the the shelf I wanted you to be able to look at the wood and the stain and stuff like that so I did I just got your plain Jane low thin little uh, brackets for the shelves so let me go and sand these down because it's rough and there's nicks and stuff and even though I'm, I want it to look rustic and 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 kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't say beat up. I still want the the stain to go on nicely. So I'm gonna start with uh, the 80 grit and I'll probably work up to 220 to get it all nice and sanded and smooth. And then I think what I'll do before I glue them together, because I'm gonna go with the one by sixes one type of stain and the one by four is a different type of stain and see how that looks so i haven't decided um yet if if i'm going to go with one would be like um a special walnut and one might be like a black i want to see how that will kind of look together uh will mix together and if I don't like it, then maybe I'll do a special walnut and uh, an oak, like a golden oak. But I just don't want the the wood to look orangish. Uh, so I'm hoping that it doesn't kind of create orange, make it orange, in which this definitely could. So I might do the special walnut on the one by sixes because it looks like the greens are a lot darker than. On the one by fours but we'll play around and see what it looks like um, the good thing is is the back of it will be just hanging on the wall so if I don't like the one stain color stain on the ones I flip it over and I try a different stain till I get something I like so let me get these sanded down and then we'll start experimenting Okay, so as you can see, I sanded them down. I did the small ones with like a black stain. I haven't done a light sanding afterwards. I just stained it to see. So you can see kind of what I've gone through. Um, I'm not crazy about th how they are. I like the black one, but I think these are two, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, no, I wouldn't say orangey, but yeah. Um, so I think what I might do is I might do almost maybe remove one here. Have this in the middle there. have it something like that and then <clears throat> keep one of them with this because it's uh this is a special walnut stain keep one of them with it maybe the other ones maybe i'll do like um like the black chalk paint and then put white chalk paint over top and kind of 
rough it up on each end that might kind of look better. I'm going to experiment with that. So I'm going to give that a shot and see how that looks. So let me, let me throw that on because what I'll do is I'll I want to try something because I'm not, this isn't as dark as I th wanted it. I was hoping this was going to be a darker, like <clears throat> I've used it before, but see, maybe if I do a light sand on it, maybe and do another coat, maybe it'll go darker. It's just a little, not as um, dark brown as I, as I want. So um, I'm going to do these here and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of an update here. I've been going back and forth. And it's all what my wife wants, right? So this I like. It's just black on black. So, you know, I did one coat, lightly sanded it, then did a second coat of black. I like that. This one here is two coats. So it's the same thing. Uh, one coat of oh, special walnut and then sand it down in the second coat but when you look at it it looks too what would you want to call it new so this is what we did just banged it up with a hammer took an old nail put some nail marks in here and then i did a light a little bit of light as you can see of the black stain and rubbed it off and then I did a the walnut stain over top of it and that's what uh, my wife liked the best so I'm going to do this to the other two instead of doing it some, some white um, what we did is we're playing around like I have these little things I did but I had an extra one so I did some playing around. I did some with some black and I did some with some of the walnut, but it still looks too white. So once we did this, uh, we, we liked that the best. Now, what I did like is for the shelves, I played around with it. So that's just one coat of the black, but this one here, What I did, as you can see, is it was um, the walnut, but I sanded down the walnut, and then I painted, did the black stain over top of the walnut. So you can see, I don't know if I can see it, how good you can see it, but you can see some of the brown in the background. I think that looks really nice, really sharp. Now this was the opposite. This was black, and then we sanded it down, and then did the walnut over top and I don't don't like that as much and you can see this one here was the same thing and then it went got kind of orangey but this side here turned out really nice with uh, the black over top of the walnut so I really like that so I'm gonna probably have those as the shell that well, those will be the shelves but yeah, definitely going to do this. So I'm going to beat up these two boards. And they look similar to that. And then uh, we'll come back. Okay, I'm going to give you an update here. As you can see, I glued them together. Well, I tried to glue them together. But it looks looks good. It looks better when it's uh, all beaten up like that. You know, just you can see I put some, put some old nail marks on them. Um, you know, I had some older nails, and then I did a light black stain and wiped it off so it kind of looks like it's old and weathered inside uh, the hammer marks and the nail marks. So, <laughs> looks good like that. Now, what I did is, because I don't have too many large clamps that can clamp this, I only have one, actually, that can clamp this whole thing. So, what I did, I glued these three together first. And then I glued these two onto this here. And always, like, even when I did these three, I kind of wiggled it to see and kind of 
see how strong the glue held and then when I did these to here this came off right away as you can see it's kind of not perfectly straight one so what I ended up doing is just to make it better uh, so it holds is I put some pocket holes now I know some people will say that when you're doing the pocket holes this way that you can get the expansion contraction with the whole wood with the temperature but this wood staying indoors it's going to be hanging on my wall you know the inside of my house stays pretty similar to temperature all year round so uh, I don't expect it to do too much so but um, we shall see I'm also like we'll have hinges on here too like I'm probably gonna I wouldn't call it hinges but uh, shelf brackets there I'm gonna have them holding the shelf together that'll help hold them together uh, help it a little bit too but um, I like how it turned out beating it up so I'm going to put the shelves on and then I'll come back and finish it up okay and here's the finished product sitting up on my next to my window and I'll just make a second one on the other side of the window but you can see my dogs are running around well my one dog and my son's dog but as you can see I put you might want to I'll put some links for the little black screws um, the ones they gave me were kind of too short so I wanted to buy three quarter inch black screws so I bought them on Amazon I can put a link into the description on getting some black screws I'll even put a link to the description for the shelves if you like them. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I post another video. And we'll talk to you later.